हरि ओम दीर्घ आयुष्मा भव स्त्रीभ्य दीर्घ सुमंगली भव सर्व्यादि निवारण प्राप्तिरस्तु सर्व ऐश्वर्य अभिवृद्धिर्भव दिस् मई पार्ट नईटी कंपेटिव रिजन हिंदूज वर्ष क्रिस्टियानिटी रिप्लाइ टू ए कमेंट्री ऑफ आर एम कमफ्लाज नेम एंड यस रिटर्न अ लॉन्ग पैर ए लॉन्ग पैराग्राफ्स आफ्टर पैराग्राफ्स सो ई थॉट ई वुड गिव इट बै थ्रू अ वीडियो इंस्टेड ऑफ टाइपिंग इट औट सो द मेन पॉइंट इज हिस् ऑब्जेक्शन इज इंडिया वॉज रूल्ड बै फाइव थौसंड इयर्स ऑफ कास्ट सिस्टम See, I have very clearly explained that there was uh, there were the lower castes and the socially deprived who were being exploited by the upper caste, and it is only the British who came here and set right the caste system, giving equal opportunities to all, based on the teachings of Christ. And British built all the railways, roads, and bridges, and it is uh, we who ape to go to and settle in west. all these allegations you can go through the commentaries i am going to reply now so the caste system i have very clearly told you i have given series part 1 to part 5 caste system in india in the caste system is nothing but division of labor and in vedic times and up to 500 years back say 11th 12th or 13th centuries till the moguls the the turks the turks the islamists the moguls and the british rule in india we had a wonderful system it's a wonderful system of division of labor of adam smith adam smith's division of labor go and read his book an enquiry into the wealth of nations how a different uh, skill is being developed when a sect of populations are concentrated on those work likewise we had brahmins we have shudras we have kshatriyas and we have vaishyas all belong to one caste but they were all engaged in different activities that's what bhagavan krishna says which i have very clearly quoted there chatur varnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagashah tasya karthara mam api vidhim akarthaaram avyayam i am mam me you see i am the avyayam the unchangeable who is a karta and the not the karta of what karthaaram akarthaaram these are beautiful words they have for the chatur varnyam the four castes were created by me based on guna and karma if you are a doctor you are called for example in the modern times a medical professional or doctors or law advocate lawyers or engineers a lawyer does not go and build a bridge a doctor does not go to the court and argue generally because those are all skilled professions a software specialist engaged in constructing languages he does not go and plow the field so there may be a rare instance of a converting the profession but we call them the businessman the industrialist or the agriculturalists or the priestly class who go and engage themselves in uh, uh, temple activities see this are all based on the socio economic faction that's what bhagavan says and in vedas i have quoted very clearly brahma says in brahma purana everybody came out of my body and they are all equal but then how did this happen it happened because of this uh, english rule that's what our acharyas also will say mogal rule see there were certain tribals who were also mingling with our society and adi shankaracharya went and reformed them uh, not to practice cannibalism activities but then it filtered through and then even now we have a system of scheduled castes in scheduled tribes who will be given priority basis in jobs in government jobs where are we exploiting the lower caste the lower caste are given all the opportunities but but by god forbid they because of the lack of exposure they may not be equally good in mathematics like somebody in the upper caste so he becomes an upper caste because he knows mathematics science he has knowledge that's what bhagavan always says have knowledge the knowledge the knowledge the knowledge in bhagavad gita it's a knowledge i have quoted those verses ज्ञानेन तु अज्ञानम नाशयति इ भगवान सेस इन भगवत गीता ओनली बाय ज्ञान द अज्ञान इज डिस्ट्रॉयड सी ऑल दिस वर्सेस यू कैन रेफर माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सो हाउ वी वो कैन से दैट कास्ट सिस्टम द वाज इज अ डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी ऑप्शन एंड हिंदूज एक्सप्लॉयटेड द लोअर कास्ट पीपल लोअर कास्ट पीपल वर नेवर एक्सप्लॉयटेड दे वर गिवन ऑल द बेनिफिट्स बट देयर विल बी एन इंटर सोशल राइवलरी व्हेन यू सी समबडी हु इज नॉट लुकिंग लाइक यू और इकोनॉमिकली वेरी पुअर 
that happens in every society. It happened in American society. It happens in British society. They had the whites. They had the blacks. In America, when I was studying, the blacks were given separate bathrooms, the separate toilets, separate church were there only for the blacks. The blacks cannot enter the white man uh, church. Even in buses, left hand side corner, right hand side corner, these were all very discriminatory also. Everywhere it was practiced. Still, recently when in 70s, late 70s, they abolished. They tried to abolish and still the practice is there. The Africans are were exploited by the whites. It was the African Negroes who built Panama Canal. See, in every society, the Vikings were there. They were all cannibals. The barbarians were there in uh, Europe. And they were not given the same level of uh, treatment. See, the caste system automatically comes based on our appearances and based on the economic uh, wealth of the society, generally in everywhere. See, the doctors will mingle with doctors. The doctors will not go and mingle with a farmer in a group, in a party or in a, in a function with the farmers, uh, say, somewhere in a remote village. Similarly, the engineers will mingle with them, the industries mingle with them. You have the um, Bombay club, you have all the clubs in America also. We are top rich people mingle with each other. That is the nature of the society. There was no exploitation. In fact, Sudra is a high caste. He is within the caste. The outcasts are those who are called Chandalas. They were tribals, probably cannibals. That's why Shankaracharya went and conquers the Chandala means in a fight means he tells them come to the normal society, come to the understanding of the Vedic scriptures, be a Ahimsa and not a Himsa. All these things he educated. There were, it is a law of nature. It is not applicable particularly to India. Everywhere there was discriminatory practices. Whether you go in South, in Africa what happened? They threw our Mahatma Gandhi out from the uh, train, moving train. Well, is it not caste system? Is, uh, the, the person was of English origin. It's a Britisher who threw our Mahatma Gandhi out. Such a, a noble uh, person, equivalent to God. So what do you say for that? You say that Englishmen brought culture. I think this has been drafted. This comment has been drafted by some English pastor. The teachings of Jesus Christ. What teachings of Jesus Christ? The teachings of Jesus Christ are good. I am not saying they are bad. But some I don't accept. St. Luke 14 verse number 26 where Jesus asks everybody to hate their own parents, their own wife. Please read that St. Luke 14 chapter verse 26 and 33. This is the cost if you want to come to me. Jesus says you have to hate your own self finally. Not only that. Go to chapter St. Luke 12 verses 49 to 52 where Jesus says I have not come here to bring peace. I will set the earth on fire. I will divide brothers three and two between themselves, sisters. I want to divide. He, he, he talks of divisive politics, division in the society. He talks of setting fire. He says, I have not come here to establish peace. Now the Christian pastors, the missionaries, they will interpret to justify that. They will say, no, no, in a house, the five people will be drunkards. So Jesus wants to reform. So two will get reformed. So they will fight against the drunkard brothers. See, these are all jokes. And uh, commentaries you can build up. I'm not saying no. It's up to you, your belief. But this is what exactly the words are there. St. Louis, 12th chapter, 49 to 52 or 46 to 52. Please read. Where he brings out divisive politics. He says he will set the earth on fire. I have not come here to establish peace. I have come here to divide fathers and uh, brothers and uh, wives. You, you see, the, where will the family system be? That's why the family system, people who follow the West, they don't have a family system. Now, if you're going to argue like that, I will bring counter, lots of counter arguments. Violence has been advocated also in Jesus' teachings. I am not saying Jesus told. Somebody has written in the name of Jesus so that it will be acceptable. If they write in their own names, it may not be acceptable. Because these are all very harsh words. Practicing himsa. He himself openly says, I have not come here to establish peace. Please read St. Louis 12th chapter verses 49 to 52 on the hit. You will have my, uh, this, what I have quoted, you can read. I have read that several times. I was wondering. So based on best cheating, if you do, there will be a problem in our society. Indian society was very, very beautiful. The wife has to respect the husband. The children have to respect or worship their parents. That is how the society, the family has to be. 
and he is saying in this commentary that sati the cruel sati system was practiced and we were all barbaric in our attitude where was the cruel sati sati was optional you see all the writers like from sulaiman a scholar everybody it was optional even akbar said you cannot compulsorily practice sati but it is optional they permitted jahangir akbar san jahangir was witnessing sati also why because the wife loved the husband as a god she cannot bear his loss it was her voluntary so they stepped into that sati because she could not live alone without so much of love de de devotion respect worship she had for our husband that is how the society was built and it was very optional done one in a million that's all see queen rani patmini of meva chitur rani patmini very famous case when alauddin kilji after killing the rana came when rana died in the battle she thought he will molest him and she along with her uh, team along with her companions committed sati voluntarily nobody came with a whip she was a queen she was not compelled rani karnavati because bahudushar will uh, uh, violate her modesty she committed sati and it has been recorded that sati was out of the pure optional choice of the loving wife on her husband that she could not bear his separation and what is the point in me living in this earth so they optionally of their own choice there was committed sati and there was no compulsion see this aspect of a woman loving her husband keeps the family united from divers in west you don't have family most of these people who follow christian teachings hate your wife he says jesus says in st luke 14 then only you can be my disciple then people say i want to go be with the lord because he is also a male member most of the women abandon their husbands and go to the lord thinking the lord will come and take him but practically in this worldly life their family is divided what system do you want we were not practicing any sati 5000 years back it's a, it's a wrong notion even in tamil nadu uh, queen uh, um, uh, raja raja cholan's uh, mother her name was uh, vanavar mahadevi mother of raja raja chola she committed sati then rajendra chola's queen wife she also committed sati her name was veera maha veera mahadevi the practice of choice do you think the queens will be compelled and tortured to commit sati they could not they loved their husbands see that is how you, a wife should love her husband for a family to be united the children will be seeing if you don't have such practices and you start criticizing the practices because you view things with a jaundiced eye and what appears to be a prejudice appears in this way because your own prejudice destroys your perception your own prejudice if you see anything with a jaundiced eye everything will look yellow only to you the things are not yellow it is up to you you have to change yourself that's what the vedas say where does the christian teaching say jesus says i am the god i am there i am i am i uh, i will take you to my father he never even says i am the father he never says i am the god he says i will take you to the father his teachings are good some of his teachings i am not repudiating at all i am not finding fault at all they are all required they were required at those point of times for those tribes and still it is relevant some but some also i don't accept like hating your wife or hating your parents it is not acceptable whatever explanation you give these are all the exact words found in the bible i have gone through the bible several times i don't accept therefore what i am saying is if you have belief as our kanchi acharya says in your god believe no wrong but don't criticize don't criticize hinduism don't criticize indians and based british built the all the railways and roads and british we all ape to go to the west how many indians are staying in the west about 60 to 70 lakhs people out of a population of 134 crores even they come and stay here indians stay in africa mahatma gandhi moved to africa also during a short period of time several indians are there in africa they go for they were taken there some went there of their choice some were taken as slaves by the british to work in plantation in west indies Our records are there some go to singapore some go to australia some go to eastern countries like singapore some go to indian countries even to Bang uh, other burma a lot of indians were in burma 
You see, the migration pattern, a small percentage, because we ape, who apes? I was uh, living in US, I had uh, lived uh, in uh, UK for a long time, I was in the US, I was a student. I never felt like staying. Of course, if you view from the material comforts, like an aeroplane travel or a car travel, those things are now available in India by the modern, the present day government are taking steps. Now, India is as good in medical field, in hospitality, in hospital field. In service oriented field, in your hotels, on your resorts, India is much better than other Western countries. You please go and check. So nobody, the, because you ape the West, we don't ape the West. That is because you think that we ape the West. Hindus don't really ape the West. They go and stay. Some may come, some may like to stay. Some may like to stay in a different area. They speak different language. Uh, have some, I like uh, uh, swimming. Some would like uh, cycling. I mean, that doesn't mean that we are aping. You cannot generalize. Out of 134 crores, do all the Indians want to go and stay? How many will refuse? See, don't bring such uh, arguments because it will not hold water. There are counter arguments. You put the ratio. Maximum 70 to 80 lakh of Indians stay in the West out of 134 crores. Some stay in even, in, even Burma today. Say, some stay in Singapore today. Malaysian Indians are there. They have migrated for various reasons. He ape for the West. It is probably you ape for the West. Most of the Indians who are over 50 want to come back to India. They are all comfortably staying in one place. So any man staying in Chennai or staying in Bombay or staying in do not like to shift his uh, basic residence unless it is very essential. He is compelled for economic or other reasons. Similarly, people who are already staying in uh, West, they would not like to come back. Very small portion of them only. Probably they are settled there for economic considerations. Generally, people are relaxing also. They don't want to do that big uh, hard work. Generally, man's condition is to relax and enjoy peace. That's the nature of majority of human beings. So with that as a yardstick, you cannot simply say that we ape the West and the, because of Jesus' teachings is not applicable to India. Our Bhagavan Krishna's teaching is applicable. Bhagavad Gita is applicable for Hindus or Indians. Please note, you go through that because there are several verses which I can challenge in Bible. Bible, Jesus even has caste system. He calls hypocrites, the Pharisees, the Sadducees and the scribes. Please read Bible, the New Testament in St. Mark, St. Uh, Matthew, St. John and St. Luke. Because they were making money or for some other reasons, he calls themselves hypo hypocrites. If you are a Pharisee, you are a Pharisee, he says. See, there are everywhere, there are some certain of identification mark. And the, the caste system in India, our Vedas repeatedly say that you have to believe the Vedas. You have to see that everybody is the same. They are repeatedly telling, I have seen in my video tube, YouTube, I have said we offer flowers to the feet of the Lord. Where Sudras come from. See the respect we give. Yudhishthira sat at the feet of Lord Krishna. And he did not sit at the head like Duryodhana. That shows, this story shows that humility, the appreciation we give to the feet. See, Sati and women and women were exploited. See, I have clearly told you in Manu Smriti, Manu says, Yatra Narya Naryastu Pujyante Tatra Ramante Devatah. Yatra yetah na pujyante tatra afala karya karya the actions afala fala means fruit afala means uh, uh, not fr fruitless so the all the actions become fruitless yatra where yatra tatra sarvatra kutra atra all these are all uh, place indicatives so where they are not Rambiante. Ram, our Ram comes from the uh, Datuhu Ram. You should know Samskritam. That's why people who enjoy in Rama, that's why he is called Rama. <laughs> so, Yatra na Rambiante, where they are not respected, Tatra, there all their actions become fruitless. Where they are respected, there even the Devas uh, rejoice. So women are given so big powers. We have women gods, Parvati, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Devatas are there. 
and women are compelled to do uh, sati is just the very poor advertisement the image given by the british and the moguls to have our system getting converted to theirs see one thing i am telling you indians don't ape for any science or mathematics everything comes from india had we followed our original rashtriya bhasha samskritam we could have developed i have given in my youtube our ancestors laid a beautiful tree but instead of watering the tree we went and started watering the tree laid by the moguls the turks and the, finally the british so we are in between you see china china goes on one language there is one mongolian culture and they are they are technically su superior to U us today their international space station is beautifully working the pictures are very sharp their rover in mars is simply fantastic their rovers in moon runs even today they have got hypersonic missiles which even us doesn't have they are shivering in another 10 years they will be so superior even in purchasing power parity they are the biggest economy in this world you should know what is meant by purchasing power parity if i give an indian soldier 50000 rupees he is very happy a foot soldier he can buy whatever he wants and live a comfortable life but even if i give 5000 dollars to an american soldier he will not be happy because 5000 dollars if you convert it will be 4 lakh of rupees roughly 4 4 and a half lakhs with that money also he cannot be happy that's a purchasing power parity that means the dollar is actually not worth 75 rupees so if you calculate everything in dollar you will be the fourth uh, uh, biggest economy but if you calculate in rupees you will be the biggest economy in the world the so chinese are the biggest economy in the world they are deliberately devalued and kept their chinese uh, currency lesser than uh, the us dollar so if you understand economics if you understand if you if we had followed our own without uh, looking too much into ahimsa we were very ahimsa oh, he is coming he is our guest we should not trouble him there were no french revolution in india there were no russian revolution no revolutions no world wars now what is happening in ukraine butchering and killing people running there you see the christians fighting christians what are the teachings of where they are respecting the teachings of uh, jesus when jesus himself says hate everybody and jesus also said to sir saint louis i have come to set fire the earth these are all words i it's not my word you go and please refer bible take out the bible and read and where is the peace there where is the teachings there where is the prosperity there china china is more prosperous that's why they are not even having any revolution they don't want they are very prosperous in every field india would have been very prosperous had we not followed totally ahimsa we should have driven out all these moguls and all these uh, turks and all these invaders the english and followed our own gurukul system of teaching with sanskrit being the rashtriya bhasha what phenomenal science was available in sanskritam in our literature in our culture what respect we had for the family what family values we had you call this as uh, uh, indians are uh, you, you in your comment i think you must be a british oriented uh, uh, person who has camouflaged your name but come open out and we will have an engagement we will have a dis intellectual discussion in what way we were less we were made less the more of it you can see of my videos i'm going to continue this series till such time booyar tavat shubhamangalam